Starbucks, we're chilling, and yeah, dudes, it's not that serious. You know, my prediction was lighthearted and stuff. Did you like my Mexican sombrero with the mustache? I thought it was awesome. Rios had a bad night, and uh, I'll admit it, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Where's the crow? Can I eat crow? So guys, uh, the Brandon Rios fight last night, I didn't even see it yet, I swear. I did a quick, lighthearted prediction, no big deal, and uh, I knew once I got the hate comments, I started cracking up. I think it's a little extreme that you're gonna call someone this and that. Brandon Rios, I think he probably lost. I didn't see the fighting, so I was wrong. I thought he'd win. I didn't know much about Richard Abril. Wait, I just got punked in my own video? I seen a fight on ESPN2 a couple years ago. A lot of people expected him to lose because we never seen him test him. So Rios didn't make weight and he lost the fight. All right, so what? You got me. Awesome. For all the times that I'm right, I want to hear some good comments. I mean, come on. I'm right like 90% of the time for years with consistency. I predicted that uh, Sergio Martinez would take Macklin, take him out deep and drown him with a late KO. HBO didn't even predict that. I hear nothing about the good times, you know? It's all about the bad times, a little prediction wrong. And guess what? Technically, <laughs> Rios won the fight, officially, on a split decision, controversial. And I will say I was wrong, like I said, because I trust other people's opinion and judgment. It's, it's another black guy for boxing, and that sucks, dudes. I love fight fans. I'm chilling, I'm having a great day. And you guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, rate. It's all about the fight fans, and leave your opinion and your thoughts, because everyone's got something important to say. And I just love hearing from you. And those hate comments make me cry laughing. Peace, guys. Peace. Guys, guys. All right, guys. ladies. <laughs>